In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed fast and responsive Instagram feeds like this on Elementor. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. I'll be demonstrating using the pro version of the plugin, but you can check out the free version with less features through the WordPress repository. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Then, inside your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on Add New. Next, click on Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro like this and click install now. Once installed, go and activate the plugin as well. And there we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our Instagram Feed for Elementor, we have to go and activate the license key first. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed, hover over it like this and click on settings. Next, beside license key, go ahead and paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account like this and click activate. And there we go, our license key has now been activated and we can begin creating our first Instagram feed. On the left hand side once again, under Instagram feed, click on all feeds. Then you can get started by clicking on add new at the top. This takes us into the first step of creating your Instagram feed, where you'll have to select your feed type. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, or a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. For this video, let's continue with the user timeline option that's already selected for us here, so we can go click on next. Now we can add a source for our Instagram feed. Click add source, and here you can select whether your Instagram account is a personal or business account. For this example, our account is a business account, so I'm going to click this option here. Now it's asking if we've connected our Facebook account with the plugin before. I'm going to click on no, then I can click on connect with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and you should see all the Instagram accounts associated with your Facebook account. Go ahead and select the one you want to display inside your feed like this and click next. Next, we'll have to do the same thing for the Facebook page associated with their Instagram account. Select it like this and click next. Now it's asking for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf. So it's completely safe. Go ahead and click on done, then click on OK. You should then see the security confirmation asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Click on yes, it's my domain. Now back in the WordPress dashboard, you should see all the Instagram accounts that you've connected with Smash Balloon. Go ahead and select the one you want to display inside your feed like this and click on add. Then you can select it as a source here and click next. And for the final step of creating our Instagram feed, we'll have to select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of our feed. You have options like default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, masonry cards, and several more. For this video, let's continue with the simple grid template. I've got it selected here, so I can go click on next. And in just a matter of minutes, we've created our Instagram feed and you can now see a live preview of it directly inside the plugin. And this feed is currently showing the latest post from the Instagram account that we connected. We can now go and embed this on our WordPress webpage, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. Under Layout, you can see currently we have the grid layout selected, which displays your posts in rows and columns like this. Below that, we have the carousel layout, which displays your posts in a swipeable carousel like this. Next, we also have the masonry layout, which displays your posts in rows and columns again, but in their original sizes. And lastly, we also have the highlight layout, which highlights your latest posts at the top, followed by the rest of the posts in a grid layout. For this video, let's continue with the grid layout. And if you look below, you can choose how many posts you want to display inside the feed. Currently, we have eight posts selected, but if you want to change that, all you have to do is modify this number here like this. And as you can see, the change has been made instantly inside the live preview on the right hand side. And if we look below, you can also specify how many columns you want inside your Instagram feed. Currently, we have four selected, but if you open this up, you can select between one to 10 columns for your feed. I'm going to change it to three. And once again, you can see that change made instantly inside the preview. And once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, go click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, go into color scheme on the left hand side. Currently, you can see that it's set to inherit from theme, which means that your feeds will automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Below that, we have a light color scheme, a dark one, and even a custom color scheme where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed just like this. And if you make any changes to the color scheme of your feed, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Next, I want to modify the header of our Instagram feed. To do this, under the Customize tab, go into Header. And inside, you can see we have four different header styles we can choose from. Currently, you can see that we have the text header style selected. This one is a simple, customizable text header which you can modify below. Other than that, you also have the centered, boxed, and standard header styles as well. In the standard style, you can see we have the profile picture, Instagram handle, and Instagram bio here as well. But for this video, I want to disable the header entirely. To do this, we can go and disable it by toggling this off right here. And there we go. And if you make any changes to your header, go and click on save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to control the content you display inside your Instagram feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters and moderation. Then inside moderate your feed, go ahead and click on enable. This will enable moderation mode and you have two different options to use it with the allow list and the block list. 
with the allow list, it will hide all of your posts by default apart from the ones you manually choose to display inside your feed like this. Next, with the block list, it will automatically show all of your posts apart from the ones you manually choose to hide like this. And below that, you can also enter specific post IDs to hide them manually too. I'm going to disable this. If we go back into filters and moderation, you can also add words as filters to show or hide posts containing those words. If you scroll down below, you can also choose to hide or show posts depending on their post type, such as photos, feed videos, and reels. With these moderation features, you have complete control over the content you display inside your Instagram feed. And once again, if you make any changes, don't forget to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Instagram feed, let's go and embed it inside our Elementor or web page. To do this, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated short code and click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to like this and click add. This will open up your page and you can go click on edit with Elementor. Now that our page is open inside Elementor, let's go down to the area where we can add our Instagram feed. And this is the spot here. We can embed our Instagram feed under this heading. To embed our Instagram feed inside Elementor, we can search for Instagram inside the widgets. And the one we're looking for is Instagram feed, this one here. So we can drag it and place it on our page like this. And you should see this pop up here asking you to select the Instagram feed we want to embed. And if we click here, we can see all the Instagram feeds we've created inside Instagram feed pro. Select the feed like this, and you should instantly see a live preview of your Instagram feed directly inside your Elementor web page. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And now on our live Elementor webpage, we can see our beautiful new Instagram feed that we just created. Inside, we can see all the latest posts from the Instagram account we connected to our feed. And if a site visitor wants to click on any of these posts, they can do so like this. And it will open up that post inside a light box view where they can see the content, caption, and comments if they're available too. So you now know how to create and embed your Instagram feed inside your Elementor website. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.